It's not the way Keegan Brooks wanted to start his freshman year here at Shamley Charter High School. We didn't think or like we weren't doing anything that wasn't like not allowed and we weren't creating a disturbance. He says he was one of three students suspended after wearing a sticker back on October 3rd with the Chamley Charter Heights principal Rebecca Brighton's face on it. My friends and I were thinking of ways to like like silent passive like a non-disruptive protest. His dad Russell says you know, he was blown their, away by the punishment. You know, it, it surprised me their reaction um, and it surprised me the you know the swiftness and the severity of their reaction. Like Brooks they, says he and other parents this. appealed the suspension. When we reached out to DeKalb County Schools last month about the incident they said Three students at Shamley Charter High School were found to have violated the standard and were held accountable. Two students received verbal warnings along with the parent conference for posting stickers critical of the school's leadership. The third student was given a one day in school suspension for printing and wearing the stickers. The violations were considered disruptions of the school environment per the DeKalb County School District student code of conduct. But Brooks says the school is violating his son's rights. I don't think this feels right. Like, I think that it is reasonable for students to express themselves and express frustration with their school and with the leadership of their school. Tuesday, he filed a lawsuit. It names the DeKalb County School District, along with Principal Rebecca Broughton and Assistant Principal Clifton Spears. It states that the school prevented Keegan from expressing his First Amendment rights. The lawsuit also highlights dissatisfaction of Broughton's leadership style since she was hired last year. And this petition that has been signed more than 2,600 times to get rid of her. It did not occur to me that it was going to be, that it was going to, you know, open up this can of worms. The school district says that they are aware of the lawsuit but can't comment on it. In a statement, DeKalb County School says that they support students' First Amendment rights but that it has to align with the student code of conduct. Keep us updated.